Are you looking for the best CPU for gaming? In this video we will look at some of the 8 best CPU on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1, Intel Core i9-13900K. The i9-13900K is a very powerful CPU capable of toppling the competition, its 24 core and 32 threads dominate in both single and multi-core workloads, cementing the 13900K at the top of multi-threaded performance for the first time in years. The 13900K has a TDP of 125W base and 253W boost. Now that's a massive jump in TDP over Alder Lake, but it's also a massive jump in performance. The 13th generation Raptor Lake CPUs see improved single core performance of up to 15% and multi core performance of up to 41%. The best part is you don't even have to upgrade your motherboard to access all of this performance, but upgrading has its benefits. L2 CPU cache is double this time around, giving the CPU swift access to larger faster storage. This enabled the CPU to keep processing instructions quickly without developing a backlog to slow it down. The 13900K is seriously fast, with a boot's core speed of up to a massive 5.8 GHz, the fastest core speed on the market at the time of writing. All of this performance does have a downside, however, the 13900K runs incredibly hot under immense stress. We don't expect you to ever reach the levels of usage that we did in our stress test, but we did manage to get the 13900K to throttle up to 13% using a 360mm AIO. Number 2, AMD Ryzen 9 7900X. Normally, you would expect to see the Ryzen flagship, the 7950X here, not this time. We don't feel that the best CPU for gaming on the AMD side of things is the 7950X. We think much better value can be found in the Ryzen 9 7900X. The 7900X is part of the brand new Zen 4 architecture, bringing performance to another level on the AMD platform. Finally, the 7000 series is brought into the present with the AM5 socket providing support for both DDR5 and PCIe Gen 5. AMD users everywhere rejoice. The 8 core. 16 thread risen 7900X is capable of massive multi core performance as well as single core performance thanks to its massive 5.6 GHz boost clock speed. AMD has seriously cranked up the single core performance this time around, making the single core performance on par with Alder Lake, Intel's previous generation CPUs. Cache has been doubled this time around. Now 1 MB per core as opposed to 512 KB. This means more instructions for the Ryzen Zen 4 CPU cores to chew through. iCPU that's kept fed by cache in a speed manner is a fast CPU. We have to talk about the DDP, and yes, it's a lot higher than the last generation. The 7900X's TDP is 170W at the base core speed and 230W at the boost speed. This also unfortunately makes the CPU run hotter than we'd like, just like the 13900K. It seems CPU cooler technology just can't keep up with the amount of power packed into the new generation of CPUs. Number 3. AMD Ryzen 7 5800x3D The Ryzen 7 5800x3D is a marvel in CPU engineering. The 5800x3D has technically claimed the top best gaming CPU from Intel and their Core i 912900 ok but there are a couple of reasons it's not top of our list today. The 5800x3D is an excellent choice for gaming. Rocking a cool 8 multi threaded CPU cores and a whopping 96 megabytes of brand new AMD 3DV cache, it seriously gains an edge in some games. 3DV cache is where this CPU differed from literally every CPU in the world right now, as it's the only one to make use of it. 
3D cache is not stacked laterally like a normal 2D cache but vertically, thanks to new 3D printing technology, hence the term 3D cache. This drastically increases the number of chiplets you can cram into an area of any given size, thus resulting in larger cache capacities without sacrificing access speeds. The vertical stacking allows AMD to achieve the massive 96 MB L3 cache with a total access speed of 2 TB per second in its 5800x3D CPUs. The 5800x3D has lower core speeds of 3.4 GHz base and 4.5 GHz max. These speeds are even lower than its brothers the 5800X. The reason for this is the 3D V cache is unstable at higher core speeds. Thanks to the 5800x3D slow max core speeds and lack of overclocking support, it's not very good at single core workloads or workstation tasks. If ever there was a fully fledged gaming CPU it would be the 5800x3D. This new caching technology gives the CPU major advantages in some gaming workloads, but not all. And with the lower core speeds and lack of overclocking support means the 5800x3D is regularly outperformed by cheaper and worse CPUs in scenarios where the cache is not utilized, even in gaming. For these main reasons, is why the 5800x3D is not higher on our list. You can read the full product review on the Ryzen 7 5800x3D right here. Number 4. Intel Core i9 12900K The 12th Gen 12900K is the successor to the 11th Gen Intel i9 11900K utilizing the new Alder Lake architecture as opposed to the Rocket Lake of the older CPU. Unlike the release of Intel's 11900K, the 12900K has been a huge hit amongst reviewers, despite the more expensive price tag. The 12900K comes with a 125W DDP which, yes is higher than the AMD counterpart meaning it does get a little toasty under the hood. The 12900K is only compatible with the new Fkligo 1700 socket, meaning a complete upgrade will be necessary if you plan on purchasing this CPU. The new 12900K comes to shelves boasting a core count of 16 and 24 threads, making it a great all-rounder for both multitasking and gaming. Intel has put its efforts into architectural improvements with the new Alder Lake lineup, improving on almost every area. With all these improvements, we finally see Intel regain the top spot as far as gaming is concerned. More impressive, however, is the fact that in workstation and multitasking scenarios, the Intel 12900K is almost as good as the Ryzen 5900X. Pair that with crazy overclocking potential and great single core performance and you have one tasty processor. Number 5 AMD Ryzen 9 5900X. It took AMD a while, but finally, they're at the top of the CPU hierarchy with their extremely impressive Ryzen 9 5900X. This CPU pretty much does it all, gaming performance, overclocking, productivity work, the lot. If you're looking for the best all-around CPU on the market, look no further. Team Red has you covered. The flagship CPU from AMD offers up uncontested gaming performance and fantastic multitasking productivity work, all of which are great for gaming, streaming, rendering and video editing. When you pair that with its current price tag, you'd have to say that the 5900X also shows some of the best value in today's market too. The 5900X is a 12-core 24-thread part, offering up a 3.7 GHz base frequency right out of the box. Furthermore, with PBO, the 5900X can be boosted to 4.8 GHz when it needs the additional power most. Think gaming or productivity type workflows. AMD, like always, has unlocked the Ryzen 9 5900X for excellent overclocking capabilities, with many users hitting 5.0 GHz respectively. This all translates to very good performance in gaming with single-core performance having the ability to push 100 FPS plus in the most demanding of modern titles. 
The flagship offering also brings excellent future proofing to your new build, supporting PKI 4.0 for the next generation of hardware that's just around the corner. You'll be able to slot the 5900X into newer 500 series boards alongside older 400 series alternatives, making it not only powerful but versatile too. The only downside is the lack of a cooler, something that AMD's more budget-oriented alternatives don't have to worry about. Number 6. Intel Core i5-12600KF Another of Intel's latest arrivals comes in the shape of their i5-12600K, their latest mid-range offering. This CPU comes equipped with a much more affordable price tag, but don't let that fool you, it comes jam-packed with performance, including plenty of overclocking to boot. The i5-12600K offers up 10 cores and 16 threads, the same as its predecessor the 11900K, but improvements to the architecture bring significant improvements in performance, with up to a 30% increase in FPS on some titles. Although AMD's 5600X still beats the card in multi-core tests, making it the better CPU in this price range for workstation uses. On top of this, the 12600K typically, though not in all cases, beats the 5600X in single-core and gaming scenarios. This performance is thanks to the impressive 3.7Hz base clock speed of the 12600K, with a tasty max single-core boost frequency of 4.9GHz. If you're into overclocking, there's also a ton of potential to be had by doing so with this chip. Pushing it up to 5.3 GHz is not out of the question, putting it right up there with the likes of the 10900K, but be aware you will need a pricey cooling rig to do so. Even pre-overclocking the 12600K runs hot, which is the only real drawback of this chip, and this does necessitate slightly more being spent on cooling, eating into the savings somewhat. Nevertheless, Assuming you have an FKLGO 1700 socket motherboard, the chipset is not backwards compatible. You won't go far wrong picking this processor for your gaming rig. Overall, as far as gaming is concerned, at this price range, you'll struggle to find anything that can match the 12600K's performance. A fantastic CPU from Intel. Number 7. AMD Ryzen 5 5600X The 5600X was one of the most anticipated CPUs to be released when Ryzen announced their 5000 series CPU lineup, mainly thanks to some impressive benchmarking rumors. It came to the table offering a shocking mix of Intel beating value and performance in both gaming and workflow scenarios. If you're looking for a well-priced CPU that can smash out AAA game titles at over 100 FPS and his excellent multitasking abilities, the 5600X should be high on your list of recommendations. It's the very reason why it finds itself in our list of best CPUs for gaming, price, performance. This chip is one of the best we've seen in a long time. It has a base clock speed of 4.1 GHz alongside a 4.8 GHz boost clock frequency, putting it next to some of the top performers in this guide. Furthermore, with a 19% increase in IPC, this thing really does leave the last generation of 3000 series CPUs in the dust. It comes with its own CPU cooling fan which AMD says is newly designed with excellent efficiency and almost no noise output, a feature the premium CPU options in AMD's 5000 series lineup can't boast. Overall, whilst the 11600K offers better single core performance at a cheaper RRP, the 5600X is still one of the best CPUs you can get at this respective price point. Number 8. AMD Ryzen 9 5950X From a gaming standpoint, the Ryzen 9 5950X isn't quite as good as the 5900X or 0900K. That being said, it still offers very good performance and actually outperforms them both when it comes to multitasking type workflows. The 5950X is another step in the head direction for desktop CPUs, 
offering up 16 cores and 32 threads for truly unparalleled workstation performance in this guide. Unlike head though, you won't have to purchase a custom board to run this bad boy, it'll slot right into your AM4 motherboard without a hitch. In terms of raw gaming performance, the 5950X does show a decent account of itself in this guide. Whilst it's not as good as the 10900K or 5950X, it still offers very stable FPS figures when playing modern AAA titles. With a base clock frequency of 3.4 GHz and a boost up to 4.9 GHz, you'll have more than enough juice to drive the most intense rendering and multitasking workflows. All being said, this is an excellent all-around CPU, but mainly tailored towards the individual that really needs that extra productivity performance. Gamers will be better suited toward fewer cores and higher single-core performance.